we've been learning about how information is transferred from place to place. And yesterday we had a look um, at how computers work. And the day before we had a look at how computers work um, and how it processes information in itself. Today we're going to have a look at how it transfers information to other computers. So we're going to have a little look at the internet as a video. We had a look at this puzzle here, or I called it a puzzle. It's actually uh, my introduction for you guys to binary code. We had eight bits. Each light bulb represents a bit. And I wonder if Nana, can you remember, what do we call eight bits? What's that unit? Byte. Yeah, exactly. Thank you. So this shows one byte of, well, this potentially shows one byte of information, but I wanted to ask you guys, what would happen if I've got that and I've got that and I've got that. And anybody tell me what number does this bit of binary code represent? Remember how to do it. The light bulbs are on or when the bit is on, it shows a one. And when it's off, it shows a zero. Dino. 44. 44, exactly. Dino, how did you figure that out? I took 32 multiplied by one uh -huh. plus eight multiplied by one plus four yeah. multiplied by one. Perfect. Yes, that's exactly how you do it. So 32 plus 8 is 40, 40 plus 4 is 44. Thank you, Dino. But I want to ask, what do you think is going to happen if we have the code written like this? What if we forget to put in some zeros or some ones? Okay. Yeah. What do you think will happen to the computer if we don't finish the code properly? It could cause a bug. Yeah, you might get a bug. Or for people that aren't very tech savvy, what do you mean by a bug? A bug is a kind of error. Yeah, exactly. So we're going to have a look at errors today. If the code doesn't send properly, then we might get an error message either in our computer or online if we're trying to access a page that doesn't send all of the binary code. Just before we move on, I want to do another one of 1000001111. What is this number? I'm just thinking that 135. 135. Good job. And how did you do that? I use 128 uh -huh. times 1 plus 12 times 1 plus yeah. 2 times 1 and plus 1 times 1. Nice. That's exactly right. So yeah, Philip got it as well. Philip sent me a message. That's all you need to know in terms of how binary code works. Like I said yesterday, a different code, I suppose, the, for the alphabet for letters. There'll be another code again for telling the computer what color is supposed to be in pixels, but we'll have a look at that in more detail next week. For now, how does a computer process information? This is kind of a good question for this week, but I'll give you some hints. I'm going to give you some prompts on the screen and I'm going to ask you to explain them or use them in a full sentence. So, electrical signals. Well, why have I written electrical signals? You have written electrical signals so you can talk to others. Yeah, so it can talk to other computers with electrical signals. What about itself? We have a war in the US. You, we can send signals for the other people to, to know you are having a dangerous people around you. Are yeah. You can take more people for help so your country don't get deadly. So they don't get the information. That's a really useful application of the electrical signals. So when, um, and we'll learn today that when a computer sends out messages to other computers, it sends the code to a modem and the code actually acts like a, uh, the modem acts like a code breaker. Like we, when we looked at Morse code, it acts as a code breaker and it translates the code into something that the other computer will understand. Because yeah, we don't want, um, we don't want just anybody being able to read our information. Tyan, upside down Tyan. What does the motherboard or the circuit have to do with computer processing? It works the computer. It works, put in. I think you're right, I just didn't hear you very well. It works the computer. Uh, yeah, yeah, so that's how the computer functions. Payan, what does it send around the circuit? Electrical signals. Yeah, good job. I'll put you back on mute. Thank you. 
Yeah, so the computer sends electrical signals around its motherboard or its circuit. Um, and its motherboard is just a super complicated looking version of what we built in class. Bits, bytes, and binary code. Ming, what is that? Why are bits, bytes, and binary code important? Bunny, what are bits, bytes, and binary code? Well, I only know binary codes. I don't remember bits and bytes. Okay. Um, so bits and bytes are what build the, the binary code. They're, um, they're, the they're the units that we measure computer processing power in. So like we'd use kilometers for distance, we use bits and bytes when we're talking about computer processing. Okay. And maybe Nana, yeah. um, CPU versus the brain. Yes. How are they similar? What do they both do? What do they both send? Electrical signals. Yeah, they both send electrical signals. To set, they both use electrical signals to, to send what? Information. Yeah, good job. Um, and I wonder if... Hijang. Hello. Can you remember which of these is faster? Is the, um, is the, is the computer faster or is the brain faster? The computer... Good girl. Yeah, the computer's faster. It uses more electrical signals um, and it's able to make those connections a lot faster. Okay, day. right. So let me move this down here. What I want you guys to do, I'm going to turn on the just a little bit of reading and there's a little bit of reading on the next screen as well. This is from your Dimensions book. So everybody, microphones on. Connecting, Connecting the world. world. Today, Today is not two bits here. What have I underlined in yellow, guys? Yeah. I'm oh, sorry, what have I highlighted in yellow? Electronics. 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 That was an example of uh, interrupted code or unfinished code, okay? We're going to have a look here. Uh, what happens if the binary code won't transfer? So, the number of bits a device can move or process is a constraint. Well, constraints are limits, okay? So, the number of bits a device can move or process is a limit. If a signal has too much information or the network for the network to move, it slows down or stops. This is why you hear about the need for, a, for an internet connection to be high speed. So you might see, have you guys seen this before on YouTube? The symbol? Yes. Yeah, what does that mean? It's loading. It's loading or it's buffering, good. Um, so that means that the information is coming through too slowly. And here, have you guys seen this before when you're trying to play? 
Yes. An online game. Yes. Yeah. What does this say? Yeah. Yes. I know yeah. I f I just found this on Google. I was just like, that looks right. Okay. Error. 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 Um, you guys might have seen this screen before on your laptop or your computer or your iPad. Um, and when this happens, it's generally followed by mom, the computer isn't working. What do I press? Or you just kind of bash some keys to see what happens, right? But um, Mike's on, please read this bit for me. What does this say? <coughs> Beep. Of bits of code, of code needs needs to, to catch, catch up. up. Good catch job. Up. And so, code interrupted. That's generally what it means in one way or another uh, when you get an error message, either on your um, on your on your screen with this blue blue screen with the white writing, or if something's buffering, or if a website or something crashes. Now. How is information transferred between computers? Now we're talking about the internet. Computers communicate in code. Okay, we know this. We've established this. You've actually gotten quite good at reading binary code. They send electrical signals with this code to a modem. Have you guys heard of a modem before, before today? The Wi-Fi modem, sometimes you might need to reset it. A modem is like a code breaker like when we were translating Morse code. It receives the code from one computer and translates it to a code that another computer can read. That's, I've tried to make it as simple and easy to understand as possible. What does a modem do? A uh, modem do to connect the oh. internet. Yeah, good. Um, have a look at the bottom point. Yeah. What is it? So a modem is kind of like a code breaker, but why? Or how is it like a code breaker? To a code that an other computer can read. Yeah. Now, but what about the internet? Suppose you want to send an email. Dear Grandma, how does it work? The sending computer translates a message into codes that can be sent. And we've had a look at codes already. Um, and once it's done that, once it's translated it into ones and zeros, it sends it off into the modem. The codes are first sent through a local area network or LAN. Don't worry about that too much. That's basically a network of modems. So it pings it all around to get it there as fast as possible. Codes can be sent in packets of data. Packets, right? That's what I want you to remember there. These packets are then sent around the world via underground copper wires, if it's on land. Okay, because we know that copper wires will um, will transfer electrical signals. It's very conductive. Or under the sea, fiber optic cables as light energy. And this is a fiber optic cable here. Vinny, what other code can we send using lights? Here's a hint. Dot, 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 dash, 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 dot, dot, dot. Can you remember what that code's called? No. Ah, that's Morse code. Oh. Do you remember doing that before the break? Yes. Yeah, so we can send Morse code via light, um, but we can also send um, information through fiber optic cables. Now, I've got a video here that I think I've got enough time to show you. Or it could crash. That's fine. This could be a teaching moment. Right, that's okay. I'll send this video to you guys in the letter that goes out. Never mind. Teaching moment. So yeah. So why is that crash? Yeah, Philip, why did my video crash? Because you are using both. Um, uh, you are using both Zoom and that video. Yeah. So what happened to the code? It is. It got inter. Interrupted. Yeah, it got interrupted, or my Wi-Fi wasn't uh, fast enough to send 
all of the information needed for Zoom and all of the information for the web page. Thank you very much, Philip. Just to summarize, and then I'll show you what we're going to do next week. So I've got eight points that I want you to read out. Computer or crashes yeah um so who's ever been trying to watch youtube and it won't load me yeah me. did you have me. lots of tabs open you know tabs me. at the top me yeah yeah. Like, yeah what can you do to try and make what can you do with those tabs to try and make your youtube load faster um um get a few tabs yeah Delete the tabs or close the tabs. So that means your computer has less information that it needs to uh, send all in one go. And Ms. Ellie? Yes? There's one time I entered the computer and I opened the papers. Do you know what it said? What? It said error for, for file not found. Ah, yes. That means there's an issue with the address, the, with the, the URL or the IP address. Indeed. So that means that something's gone wrong in the code. It's like if you're trying to send a letter and you put the wrong country on it. And so it goes flying off to France when you wanted to send it to Brazil. And then it gets lost. Right, guys, what does this say? To transfer information to another country. Well, they can be checked with packets of information. These packets of information can be checked with five underground copper wires, as well as fiber optic cables, light energy. Good job. Yeah, fiber, okay. optic. All right, guys, so what two ways can you send electrical signals? Or what two ways, sorry, can you send packets of information? You can use underground copper wires or fiber optic cables. Now, does that make sense so far? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Okay, so next week, we're going to have a look at radio waves, cell phones, and, and elephants. Elephants? I know. Elephants. I know. <coughs> It'll all come together. It'll all make sense. 